What's up, y'all? Got a film to defeat, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into a story time. Kia sent us, I got cheated on in front. I got cheated on right in front of my face. I'm about to be eating my little tuna uh, boats. All right. Let's get it. Y'all, so this is the story time of how I got cheated on right in front of my face. Excuse the noise. I'm in the airport right now waiting to go home. But let's jump right into the story. So, as y'all know, my ex had a party for his friend at an Airbnb. So, the Airbnb was way in Orlando, and I live, like, almost two hours away from Orlando. So, I go to the party or whatever. I get there, and it was all cool. At like, I had already got my own bottle, so I'm just sitting off to the side, like, not talking to nobody and letting my men have fun, right? So, they got strippers there, and everybody turning up, and I'm just sitting off to the side, you know, minding my business, being cute and classy. So the whole night, like strippers at his party, you sitting off to the side was already a problem. All these dudes kept walking up to me, like trying to talk to me. So that was already a red flag. Cause I'm like, if my man said I'm coming, why are people who at the party trying to talk to me? Cause you should tell people that I'm off limits. Right. So long story short, every time he's seeing a boy talking to me, he'll come up in my face and be like, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, you tripping. Like, I'm just sitting over here, right? So by the time we get to the end of the night, everybody leaving, whatever. So it's time for all of us to go into the room. Mind y'all, I didn't notice at first, but the strippers were staying at the Airbnb where everybody else was staying. Mm. So while I'm walking to the room, all the strippers are already Told you it was a red flag. Looking at me crazy like I ain't supposed to be there. Because you ain't a stripper. So I finally get in the room, <laughs> and I sent him to the car to get my bag so I could take a shower and stuff. And then I lay down because I'm kind of tipsy, and I was off that Casamigos. So I lay down, and I just so happen to doze off. And next thing I know, I wake up. It's like 20 minutes later, and this man's still not back. So at this point, I'm You mad. trusted him out there with some strippers? I started calling his phone, blowing him up. I'm like, bring me my keys right now so I can go home. Like, I'm over this. I'm ready to go. Y'all tell me why I caught this man 20 times and he did not pick up the phone, not one time. So I started searching all over the house for him. I'm like, I tell his friends, I'm like, have you seen him? Have you seen him? They like, no, no, we haven't. We have. Finally, I asked one of his other homeboys. Obviously, this homeboy didn't like him because he told me what he was at. He was like, oh, yeah, he went in a room with some girl. And I said, he did what? He was like, yeah, he in that room right there. Oh, snitching ass. So I go to the room and I start banging on the door. Mind y'all, it's like three, four o'clock in the morning. So everybody was laying down. I don't care. I woke up the whole entire house. <clears throat> so I'm banging on the door for a good three minutes and nobody opened the door yet. So finally the door opened and it's the stripper who been in his face the whole entire night. So And she was in his face? I would have been left. She opened the door and I go in the room and he coming out the bathroom with a freak of in his hand. Yeah. A There's so many. Was he doing the bin? Y'all, as soon as I seen that book, I launched on him. <laughs> Not launched on him. To a high got cheated on in front of my face with a stripper. So we left off on part one where I caught my man with a book in his hand. A lot of y'all had questions about where the book came from and i'm about to let y'all know hmm. it came from the strippers a-hole okay so all night how you know that you had just walked in was this one strip well at least it wouldn't come from his book <laughs> am i the only one that was thinking that i'm thinking it came from his book i kept seeing because she had a lighting up ring in her behind literally her was lit up the whole night with the butt. So imagine my surprise when I go in the room and that same is in my man's hand. Anyway, so I finally get in the room and I'm telling him, like, give me my key so I could go. Why this man holding me hostage, refusing to give me my key? 
So I just started picking up anything and hit him over the head with it. Y'all, I grabbed the got to be glue bottle and started beating him over the head with it and everything. And I don't even put my hands on people because I do not support domestic violence at all. But I was drunk and my mind told me to beat him down because he really tried me. So at this point, we in the room fighting. The stripper on the bed, but my man in the room but with the butt. And I'm just sitting over here looking crazy. Next thing you know, everybody started coming out of the room. They like, what's going on? What's going on? But me and him steady fighting. And then this man had the nerve to say that my hips was weak. Like, that made me so mad. So we steady tussling and wrestling. You don't be hurting these y'all. Uh, until you my, do. Until you do. Like, give me my key so I can go. Give me my key so I can go. He like, no, go in there and lay down. Go lay down. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. In my mind, I'm like... Is this man kidding me right now? Like, this can't be real life. So, finally, he picked me okay, up. Okay, hold on. He was already naked. What you mean, friend? Like, that made me so mad. So, we steady tussling and wrestling. I'm steady telling him, like, give me my key so I can go. Give me my key so I can go. He like, no, go in there and lay down. Go lay down. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. In my mind, I'm like... Is this man kidding me right now? Like, this can't be real life. So, finally, he picked me up, and he put me out of the room, and he locked the door with him and the stripper inside of the room. So, I'm banging on the door again. I'm like, bro, give me my key so I can leave. Like, what you want me here for anyway? Give me my key so I can leave. So, finally, he slid the key under the door. So, I get my key, and I start walking down the stairs to leave. I look over my shoulder, and he following me. So, we in the street. We get to... Well, I get to beating him against, and he. Friend, you wasn't hurting him, girl. Um, I'm still at butt. So, I come in the room. You butt booty. You were shouting, shouting. Light her up, shouting. Okay. Um, I get to tussling with you. You touching me with butt juice, and that's a problem that I have because. You could have had the decency to at least wash your hands first. That's number one. Number two, why the hell would you even be there when strippers is there? That was, that was a no. Okay. Um, this is not y'all bachelor party. You know what I'm saying? Or nothing like that. Uh, and I just feel as though she just could have, you know, she should have kind of left that alone in the first place. I feel about it. He has hair, so I was pulling his hair, and he was getting beat with my phone in the middle of the street. And then I tell him I'm finna go back in the house and get with one of his homeboys. Y'all, this <sighs> man say he was gonna pum pum me and the homeboy if I went back in the house. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm just leaving. So I get in my car, and he's still standing in the street. Y'all, I almost had a life sentence, so I, cause I tried so hard to hit him with my car. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. But he got out of the street at the right moment, so I didn't run him over. God is and great. that's pretty much the end of the story. So, yeah, that's how I got cheated on. Bye. Well, I got cheated on with a stripper in my face. This comment is so funny because I don't know what more you want me to say. But I did see some comments asking, like, what was the resolution to all this? So, I did block him on everything, and he still tried to hit me up. Um, but a few weeks later... He went to jail. And y'all, I told my brother about this story and he got so mad. Like, he was ready to fight him. But I ain't tell him who the person was. Anyway, once he went to jail, I was like, God, don't play about me because you did me like that. You did me so dirty. And now look where you at. And eventually he made a new page on Facebook and hit me up. But I live in Houston, so like... But y'all, he what? was so fine. Like, I was... He was just so fun. I can't. But so yeah, we don't talk no more. We what? never gonna talk. Like that was the craziest experience of my what? life. I'm gonna make sure. I Cause you did me like that. You did me so dirty, and now look where you at. And eventually, he made a new page on Facebook and hit me up. But I live in Houston, so like. But y'all, he was so fun. What living in Houston got to do? Everybody can't do a story time like DJ Star. Because what living in Houston 
Got to do with the price of tea in China. Cause y'all know I live in Houston. Two hours away from where? Oh, she started in Florida. Oh, girl. I was lost. Fine, like, I was, he was just so fine. I can't, but. So, yeah, we don't talk no more. We never gonna talk. Like, that was the craziest experience of my life. I'm gonna make sure I give y'all most story times because I have the craziest stories ever, but I just want to tell my business on TikTok. But y'all seem to want to be in my business. So I'm gonna let y'all know all the crazy stuff I go through. Like, y'all will not believe. Kia, girl, I was lost. I'm like, what that got to do with anything? <laughs> the life I live. <laughs> but thank y'all for making it to part three. I love y'all. Bye. I forgot to add one little part. It is a spinoff story to this night, but it's not as interesting. But it is a spinoff story that happened to this Like, I'm really just about to go home. I'm not feeling this part at all. He broke two of my... Two of my nails trying to get my freaking phone. He literally broke almost two of my nails. Them girls, was that loud and that like that? I was trying to get my phone. Like, what are you doing all this for? I can't. I'm not at all. Bro, that was a mess. <sighs> Child, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. My fault. I was lost for a second. But Kia had found me. All right. That's all we got. What, what would y'all have done? All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.